everyone. Welcome to Everyday Affairs, where we bring you all trending news and information on things happening around the world. I appreciate every one of you who has subscribed to this channel. However, if you're yet to subscribe, kindly click on the subscribe button on the right hand side of your screen, written in red, subscribe, and also hit the bell icon by its side so that you can get notification whenever a new story is published. Thank you and stay tuned. Falana says, TSS team leader has apologized to Justice Ojuku for invading her court. Fabi Falana says that the DSS cannot extricate itself from the abominable act of December 6, 2019. Mr. Femi Falana said that the DSS leader who invaded the court has tendered an apology to Justice Ichiyama Ojuku for their alleged misconduct. Falana said when the judge summoned the DSS operatives after the incident, they were unable to defend their conduct, hence their subsequent apology to the judge. Reacting to DSS statement issued on Saturday, December 7, 2019, Mr. Fabi Falana said that the claims in the statement are self-contradictory press release and an unsuccessful attempt to absorb itself of responsibility for the armed invasion of the Federal High Court in Abuja. The lawyer said, by the advantage of information technology, the whole world has placed responsibility for the gangsteric desecration of the court on the DSS. The DSS cannot extricate itself from the abominable acts. When I informed the court that fresh charges were being filed against our clients and that they could be rearrested, the prosecution denied any such plan. As soon as the case was adjourned, the DSS pounced on Sowore and caused a disruption of the proceedings of the court. Having taken over the courtroom, Justice Ojuku hurriedly rose and asked the registrar to adjourn all other cases. After the learned trial judge had risen from the day, for, for the day, she summoned the heads of the prosecution and defense teams to her chambers. When the lead prosecutor, Dr. Liman Hassan, San, denied knowledge of the invasion of her court, she directed him to invite the head of the DSS team in the court. When challenged to justify the invasion of the court, the officer could not. He apologized to Justice Ojuku on behalf of the DSS. The judge then directed the officer to withdraw the DSS operatives from the courtroom. The directive was complied with as the operatives withdrew from the courtroom but rushed out to join their colleagues who had taken over the entire courthouse. Falana therefore called for the immediate release of Shore and other political detainees. All right, viewers and listeners, you've heard the new story. We have a government that is full of lies. Well, I, 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 I believe that many governments do lie. But Nigeria government is ranked the highest, number one, when it comes to lies. Despite the fact that we have video, there are video evidences all over the internet of the DSS invading the courtroom, malhandling Shore and uh, Bakari, they still came out with false statements. Why are they so full of lies? Why don't they have common respect? Just a little respect, possibly a 1% respect for the citizens of this country. Do they think the citizens are dumb? Do they think the citizens don't have senses? Do they think that they can just force anything down the throats of the citizens and it will just go like that? Why do they take the citizens of Nigerians for food? It's just so pathetic. It's just so pathetic. How can they claim Gareba Shehu, speaking for the president, make a statement to come and tell the whole world that the DSS did not invade the courtroom? 
when the 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 the, the evidences are all over the place the dss also releasing statements also claiming that there was no representative of the dss in the court is it possible if there was no representative of the dss in the court then who were the people that were sitting down or supporting the prosecution um, um, lawyer? Is it possible for there to not be any uh, DSS operative to witness the court proceeding, to take notes and also revert back to their bosses? For how long will these politicians continue to ride Nigerians or take Nigerians for a ride? It is all this, this act and this dandatic, dandatic act is uncalled for. They need to respect Nigerians and make us... Or oh, it's high time for them to know that we are learned, we are intelligent. Nigerians are not daft. Nigerians are not, um, are not fools. It's really, really pathetic, the situation that Nigeria is actually in and the states at which Nigeria is at the moment. We just hope that things can get better. President Mombo de Buhari needs to sit up, needs to wake up, and needs to do more than it is doing at the moment to make things better. This is this is this is so 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 uncalled for. Now, Mr. Fermi Falana has come to tell the world that the team of the DSS that invented the courtroom has apologized. So, how come the statement that there was no DSS operative? in the courtroom these people should fear god and at least lie with some credence or lie with some sense of uh, some sense of of, of uh, fear of god if i may put it that way it is really really pathetic really really pathetic well this is what we have heard please drop out the comment section let's know what your thoughts are and please don't forget to share the news to other people Share it to as many people, your friends, your family, your relations, colleagues, and other people, so that they can know what is going on in the country. Please, if you're here to subscribe to this channel, can you subscribe as we aim to bring you informative, educative news from around the world, Nigeria in particular. Thank you, and God bless you.